Hello, my fellow toasters. Today we are playing episode two of Kerbal Space Program, and today we are going to the Mun. Well, flyby of the Mun. Not a landing, but we are getting there. Okay, so now I just want to get. Uh, what are those contracts? Yeah, I just want to get a contract. So let's see here. Got to look, see which one I want. Hmm, I really want the tourist ones. Yeah, they give you a lot of money. Especially if you uh, aren't into the real orbital stuff now. So, I'm just going to build this real quick and I'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. And this is it. Go feel free to copy it. If you want to. I mean, I didn't copyright it. Uh, I'm not re really gonna use this after this, but oh well. So let's just take this and launch it. So we got an auto strut because everybody likes auto strut. It's always useful. And I was just a cut because I just forgot all of the tourists. So now we can go. And of course, I had to speed up the video since it would be way too long if it was uh, full speed so just ditched the booster stage and you can there's a look at the Kerbals say hi Jeb <laughs> okay so we are guaranteed to go into orbit now or a suborbital trajectory now just gotta time warp until we go into re-entry and boom okay now re-entry the reason I put all of those uh, reaction wheels because was because in re-entry I can flip around sometimes if the end I want to land in is lighter than the end I don't want to go in it with so luckily that wasn't the case or I just had a lot of control surfaces and of course if you have uh, this as you can see as can be a problem if you're going too fast so that was very lucky <laughs> lucky Kerbals so let's just get back in there we didn't get much science but as you can see we got a good 60 grand out of that overall and Jeb is one star now so that's always nice okay now I feel like going to the Mun. Well, fly by of the Mun. <laughs> okay. Now, let's just upgrade that so we aren't limited to 30 parts. And I'll just gonna get rid of this and be back once I have the finished craft. Okay, this is the craft that will get us on a flyby to the Mun. Pretty nice, I know, right? Okay. <laughs> so let's launch this thing. Uh, we want to make sure that everything's right and we get rid of all of the notifications because notifications they're annoying when you don't own to get rid of them so you've already seen me get into orbit so I'm just gonna speed this up for you okay so as you can see I'm doing a gravity turn which is very efficient when getting into an orbit now of course I have never been good at getting the perfect angle for the craft but oh well and of course we are in the final stage other than the lander stage or well, the re-entry stage the get back to Kerbin stage I should say Okay, we are now in an orbit, a uh, stable orbit with a periapse of at least 70 kilometers. Okay, now when you're la gonna go to the MUN and you don't have maneuver nodes, this is about the angle between where you are in your orbit of Kerbin and the MUN's orbit in Kerbin. Kerbin. So you just wanna burn up there so the orbits kind of line up like that and then just time warp all the way up there 
Just time warp. Go on, you can time warp a bit more. And as you can see, you can't see it right now because you haven't up because I haven't upgraded hit some stations yet, which allow me to do that. But I am I have gotten there, so it's pretty easy to eyeball the mud. It's practically impossible to eyeball Minmus. It's just so light and it's at such an odd angle. You need those maneuvering hoods. Those are so convenient. Okay, so now I'm just getting all of that science because you need all of that science. And so, yeah, once I've got all of that science done, oh, I hate how I don't get how that green bar is all the way full of the no normal green. It's just so annoying. It really annoys my OCD. Which I do have a light case of. Meh. <laughs> okay. So now that was all the high mun orbit. Or high over mun orbit. Now we're getting the near mun and science. Oops. Science of the high and the near mun with the mun. Because why not? And so I would say if, the, if you can only have one reusable I don't know if you go bleh man I words do not like me today if you can only have one science junior your research bay then you want to do it in low mun and in space near the mun because it's just easier and gives more science Okay, so right now we just got a time warp up to the periaps. Go on, just time warp a bit more. That's good, that's good. There we go. Okay. We are at the periaps. Just getting a little bit more accurate since the more you are on the Apple apps, the more efficient it is. But it really doesn't really matter at this stage. So now I'm just burning retrograde to bring the Apple apps. To bring <laughs> Apple apps. Words do not like me today. The periaps down to about 45 kilometers. I would say that's good. And then I just want to time warp down. And once I'm there, since I have some extra fuel in it, I want to burn retrograde and burn as much of that fuel away as possible. Okay, so I'm just burning now. And as you can see, the speed is slowing down a lot faster than if I was just letting it re-enter. And as you can see, I just had to ditch that. And I am re-entering. Now, of course, the re-entering might, might not always be the most accurate, but it's something. You like to land on land, but you usually land on water. <laughs> I'm still not a pro at figuring out how to land near the space center from, uh, from anything above low carbon orbit. So yeah, we are landed, and let's just get all of that science back. Like now we have over 300 science. Jebediah. Yeah, Omen got some extra experience. We are now in the morning because when Jeb eventually does die, we want to mourn for him in the morning. And now let's just get all of that science. So we want solar panels because we are going to get probes up there and they always use electricity, even in hibernation mode. Okay. And then we ha can I get. We have enough science for one more tech tree thing, and I think I'm going to get this. Okay. Well, guys, make sure to keep that toast well. Rockets and toast.